most dramatic podcast ever. An iHeartRadio podcast. Chris Harrison and Lauren Zima coming to you from the home office in Austin, Texas, to wish you a happy 4th of July. Um, wishing everybody the best. Hope you're around those that you love as we celebrate this great country of ours. Um, no, it's not perfect, but my God. God, it's a great country and we love it so much. So happy 4th of July. LZ, was that a big holiday for you guys up in Chicago, your family? Yes, Did you because tra- Chicago summertime is, Chicago's the best like May to October. Yeah. Um, and Chicago summers are wonderful. And we would always do just a family barbecue, um, yeah. have everybody over. And, you know, I'm so grateful for those times because... As you as, as you age, making myself sound old, but you remember kind of the strong mm-hmm. moments in your life, right? Like you don't necessarily remember the the every day, but you remember like those family holidays and what you did and family vacations and um, just getting together as family. Um, I, I was so important to me growing up and I continue to see is so important. And those holidays are those market points when we can do that. Um, so I always think 4th of July is like a simple one, right? What do you do? You probably just grill burgers and yeah, hot dogs, burgers, but hot dogs and you, hang you out see together. some fireworks somewhere. My, uh, my mom, dad, my brother and I, when we were younger, we would go down to the cotton bowl in Dallas, Texas, down at the fairgrounds and the cotton bowl would have a massive kind of all day thing. And then a huge fireworks display, uh, we were too poor to go inside. So we would sit in the parking lot. My dad would drive us down there. We'd sit in the bed of the truck outside the cotton bowl and you would miss some stuff. You could see, you know, lights and things going on inside, but eventually the fireworks show would be above the cotton bowl and we'd watch it. And, uh, we did that for years and just loved it. It was, you know, you just, you remember those things because you look around in your mind's eye now and you see your mom, your dad, your brother, and, and just being together. And Or we'd go up uh, later, we'd go up to Flagpole Hill there in Dallas, Texas, was right by my house. And you could, kind of a high point in Dallas, you could see all around and see a bunch of fireworks shows. But I always remember being with family, homemade ice cream, you know, someone cranking uh, the ice cream machine and making some good vanilla ice cream and hot dogs, hamburgers, just being with family. And uh, that's uh, a good thing. And by the way, I am very proud and happy to be from America. Um, I saw a statistic the other day about how much that pride is going down Mm -hmm. um, with uh, younger people. And I think especially when you travel the world or like you look at, you know, how many people are trying to come into America and live here. It's a reminder, like there's a reason for that. Um, This is a great country to be from. We enjoy so many incredible freedoms here. Um, Yes, as you said, we're not perfect right now, but um, I always believe in hope and hope for the future. And I think instead of being like, angry at our country it's like get involved and try to do something to make it better um because it's an amazing place to be from and yeah i'm just very grateful and i don't know i'm i'm feeling i think holidays are also always a good time to just like reflect for take a second to reflect and mm-hmm. be like grateful and live in the present moment amen to that um and just you know public service we're just going to say it uh don't light the fireworks in your hand oh god just don't don't, don't, be, don't be the person that uh, is on even... the news just don't just, just don't be safe. Uh, but to all of you, in all seriousness, uh, have a great holiday week. Uh, love you all, and uh, can't wait to talk to you on the flip side. Because uh, on the other side, uh, that week uh, we will be in Tahoe. We'll be in Lake Tahoe celebrating uh, with a bunch of friends and celebrities at the American Century Golf Classic. So if you are in the Tahoe area or want to get away from the heat, uh, come to Lake Tahoe and uh, come join us. It is um, my first time to play in it. Uh, but I have had many friends who play in it and tell me it is the best week of the year. It's an absolute blast. So my thanks to the American Century folks for inviting me. LZ and I will be there. It's going to be such a great time. I can't wait to see a bunch of fans and friends and uh, enjoy. So happy 4th of July. Love you. And we will talk to you again soon because we have a lot more to talk about. Thanks for listening. Follow us on Instagram at the most dramatic pod ever. And make sure to write us a review and leave us five stars. I'll talk to you next time.